Let's get, get growing. growing. So, Karen, why do you think Mr. Potato had a mobile phone? Oh, I don't know. Why? In case Mr. Onion rings. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Mikey Kelly, at least you're better at growing vegetables than you are at telling jokes. So stick to the day job, dude. But yes, you are talking about onions, which is what tonight's episode is all about. To kick off this season, we'll be peeling back the layers of one of the easiest veg to grow and cook, onions. Okay, so we're ready to go with onions. The first thing to go into the ground this year. As easy as garlic, actually, yeah. from last year. So great return. Yeah. Very low maintenance. Yeah. Unlike himself. <laughs> so yeah, what do, we, what do we need to do? Yeah, really straightforward crop and fantastic. So because we're growing from sets, which we'll talk about in a second, there's not a huge amount of ground preparation to do, but a very simple thing just to kind of get it a little bit flat. So we're giving a little bit of a hoe to loosen up the soil first. And you give it a little bit of a rake then. But we're not sowing seeds here, so we don't need to be worried about it being, you know, hyper flat. The other thing we need to think about is, is feeding, okay, right? So good. we did uh, get some compost onto this soil uh, before Christmas. So there's lots of nutrition in it, but we're just going to give it a little bit of a help in hand. Have a bit of a sh no! smell of that. Oh, Michael Kelly. So these are uh, poultry manure pellets, which are a bit stinky, but fantastic organic general, general fertilizers. So I'm going to get you to do that. Thanks. So we just need about a handful per square yard and just sprinkle them on the surface of the soil okay. like that, yeah? Is it potassium that onions really love? It is and indeed, need? yeah. So potassium is basically um, what onions need and helps them to store for longer. Okay. So this is a seaweed feed. And again, same thing, same application. So we're doing just about a handful per, per square yard. Oh yeah. So just get, get our rake now and just give that a little bit of a rake in. Yeah, nice and even there, that's it. So we're ready to get our sets now and get sown. So this is a set. Yeah. Um, how come we're growing onions from sets and not seed? These are basically immature onions that someone else has grown from seed. Oh, okay. Yeah? If you want to grow them from seed, you have to start much, much earlier in the year, like January. Yeah. So um, do you remember when we had chitting, we were chitting the potatoes yeah. last year, which was a good thing. That's, this is not good for yeah, onion sets. Yeah, exactly. So generally speaking, anything that's already sprouted like that, it's not a good idea to even try planting it. You're also trying to get a nice round onion. The size of it is not that important. And obviously anything, anything soft, like this one is kind of starting oh. to rot. So you definitely <laughs> don't want that, yeah? So I think you were saying that there's gonna be about 10 per row? Yeah, so our spacing is, the rows are 25 centimeters apart, which is, this, this board is exactly that width. So the spacing in the row determines how big an onion you get, but the best yield is from about 10 centimeters apart, right? Okay. So we do, do our row along here like that, along the edge of the board. And with onion sets, this end, the flat edge is where it's going to take root from. And we just literally stick them down so that the kind of tip is showing, about half the onion is showing above the surface of the soil. And then 10 centimeters over, you do the same again. Then we're gonna flip our board over. And you can go with some of your, with a row of your red ones then. And the other thing, as is always the case, Karen, as we know, is your label. label. These are the, the red barn one, row and the stirring onions there as well. They should be good to go now. Nice, good, easy. Yeah. If it's very cold when you're sowing, you might want to wait till things warm up to about 10 degrees. Now I'm laying down a fleece to protect our onions from any unexpected freezes and those pesky pigeons. So Mick has gone in for a coffee and I've taken the opportunity to schnapple the few sets, whoops, that were left over from the raised bed. The good news is if you don't have any space, you can still have the onion growing experience because they do actually grow well in a container, just not to full sized onions. So we're actually going to grow them side by side, really closely together. If you are growing them outside, they're fine. But if you're going to grow them inside, don't forget to uh, keep on top of watering them. So in six weeks time, we're going to have some delicious scallion-y type things that are going to knock Mick Kelly's socks off. It's fair to say it's been a pretty mad year weather-wise, definitely for growing. We're currently here in July at about 28 degrees yeah. heat. I heard this morning on the radio that we've got a, 
There's no moisture whatsoever in the soil down to about 10 centimetres in depth, which is oh. unbelievable, has never happened before. Yeah. Drought conditions. Drought conditions. That's why the grass is not growing and, you know, not, not a big deal for us, but for commercial growers, that's serious stuff. Yeah. For us, though, here, it's just about manageable, despite all the, the kind of restrictions on watering, we're, we're able to kind of target it at things that really need it. And also just being a bit smart about it, like watering first thing in the morning, watering last thing at night, so you get the most out of your mm. water. I won't say we're praying for rain yet. But, no, no, but not quite there. Not far <laughs> off. We're enjoying not the ice cream off, for yeah. now. To cope with the heat, we've got our ice cream, but the onions need to cool off too. They usually don't need a lot of water, but with weather like this, a good soaking can't hurt. A month on and it's still warm and dry. The onions are doing great, but there's still some things we need to keep an eye on. The only other thing we talked about this the last time was is weeding. weeding they, yeah. they hate weeding. With hoeing, you need to be very careful. You can hoe in the rows, but in close, you need to be really, really careful because if you, if you hoe too close to them, you're going to damage the roots. And if you damage the roots, you're going to set them back. So there's very little weeds in this bed. There's one. <laughs> It's there almost like a prototype. Have you been out like 24-7? Yeah. <laughs> I placed it there. <laughs> but that weed is actually just, they don't like weed competition at all, so you as well oh just to pull gosh. that out. We're just going to give them a bit of a watering. And that's, that's pretty much that. And these are going to be fine for another, <laughs> for another couple of weeks. So Should hopefully... we pull out your hand there for a sec? This looks like uh, a bull in a china shop kind of has been through here, or Karen in a china shop as we like to call it. But actually this happens completely, completely naturally with onions. Because what's happening is, there's a kind of a nutrient tug of war happening between the bulb and the stem. And it's pulling all the nutrients down here, which is why these are starting to collapse and fall over. Down into the, into the bulb, which is where you want them, obviously. So what we do, you can eat these onions as they are now, no problem, but to get them to store we need, to, we need to dry them out a little bit first. The only thing to bear in mind, it's really simple with, with, with harvesting, but what you need to do, rather than kind of pulling them out of the ground, which will break the neck, and probably means they'll rot in storage, which we don't want, you just kind of twist them gently in the soil like that, so that they come out nice and easily. So we're just gonna go through, get these out of the soil. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use my box that I'm sitting on, to just stack them up on, right? Because if they're sitting on kind of wet soil, that's not gonna help with them with the drying process. You don't mind them getting wet every now and then, but they need to be able to dry out as well. And from a relatively small space raised bed, you've gotta be happy with that for a crop of onions. 